Testerun or Kishunyo? And why, you may ask, is this a golden opportunity for our Montpellier boys? Well, I'll tell you why. Because today's opponent, Racing 92, not only are they on the road, but they are missing eight players on international duty. Who organised this? I don't know who, but I love them and I want to see more of it. Bonjour everyone and welcome back along to Montpellier career mode where today, yes, we take on what can only be considered as an understrength Russing 92 team. Why we sit here and cry about our four players who are on international duty, they have eight. Names like Chet, LaRue, Shuzano, Mishino, Russell, Thomas, Vakatawa, Ryan, all missing along with Gomez who is injured from today's lineup. That makes me very, very happy. We are missing a number of players through injury and international duty as well, but we've got the depth. We're hardened to this sort of crap, and you know what? We're ready to take on whatever is thrown at us. Are racing ready? We're about to find out. They still have a number of decent players. You look through number one, Benaru, certainly a decent little player. Their second row looks decent enough. Will Tucker and Luke Jones in the middle of that pack. And then in the back line, Ben Volavola running things at 10. He's got danger outside him. Gal Fiku and currently Beal. And of course, you have a consistent Mr. SP Marea at fullback. On the outside of things, there's been a number of changes, but we cannot go past saying welcome back to the Italian Eduardo Pedavani, who returns that number 14 jumper. We also welcome back Carlin Isles, the speedster on the left wing, and a midfield of Skinner and Vincent to keep this back line in attacked. Changes in the pack. See Anthony Geelong return. He comes back in for a second start again at number eight. Uh, spending a bit of time out with injury. Aside from that, we're pretty much a full strength pack. And that is what is good about this Montpellier 18. We got the depth. On the bench, as she was before, Amache returns to the bench from injury after being almost depleted of reserve scrum halves. But we've got plenty of depth here. Sanconi on there and 20 Capelli. Virginia Setiano, Bretz as well. It's brilliant. It's outstanding. And we're looking ready to take on this depleted. Oh, I love to say another team is depleted. And it's not us for once. Russing 92, welcome. Right, let's get things underway. Curly Bill and his Russing team are on the blue and white hoops. We're, of course, in our black and blue, ready to go. Bill kicks off from midfield, playing in an interesting, actually, outside centre position tonight for an oh, the former Wallaby. And take a Wallace smashes that. That's going to be a yellow card early on. And straight away, if not, Nine players missing from your starting lineup. Is it enough? Just take one player off, why don't you? Let's just play against 14 men. Don't mind if I do. Thanks for coming, Russing. But you know what we're going to do is just not kick it out. Oh, that is a cardinal sin. Right, we've got to make up for that. Let's send you one of them instead. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant, outstanding. And it's the man on the right wing, De Guglio, who makes his way off. Oh, wow, I'm off. I didn't see him on the bench. Oh, this improves their team quite substantially. Oh, I haven't seen him off for quite some time. Crouch. This is exciting. Bind. Look out the right wing. Russing have got some depth Sit. as well. they got a little bit of X Factor coming into the scene too. The Argentinian flyer, the experienced flyer. They are going for the set piece for Marcus Blue Line. Nope, they don't go that way. Out to the green of Beal at outside centre. Look at this though. Brilliant Advantage. coming across there from Merrick. And eventually the knock on from Volleyball. I think he was. I don't know what he was doing out there on the left wing. It was held up in play from Labordi. And just, that was a really Crouch. dysfunctional Bind. set piece from Rusting 92. Set. I don't know why they had their winger standing at first for CV. He didn't really see anything I liked. Here's a chance though. Shalom spots the room down the short side. Can't quite get away from the cover defense off the back of the scrum. Merrick went flank part. Opens up brilliantly for the second round. Heron's there in tow. The ankle tap takes him down by a whisker. 
Corrado, see him ready. Vanessa to no one in particular. Skinner picks up the try scoring machine. Out to Isles. Isles shimmies. Isles the corner. Oh, he's in touch. He's in touch. Carl and Isles sets the touchline on fire. And 10 minutes has gone by already. Unbelievable. That was Blair who was sent off. I didn't even see that. Who it was at least. But man, Carl and Isles. Almost. That's on straight. Out the back they pop it. Blair is the man there. And currently Bill, he's the one that everything is going to go through. Bottier at the back. Oh, look out. Shimmies and does a little dance on halfway. When Jones, forward, direct, as ever. Merrick, a little bit of rumble, South again, it opens up for flank part. Another strong run by the big lock. Let's get some more players involved. Kamada, another strong carry by our back row. Merrick is there, we'll keep going open side. Garrado this time, the hooker. And for Kuma to Sally away with international journey on from France, which is amazing! Gerardo's away! Big pass wide! We've got to get it out there! Heron's the man! And it will be the fly half who dots down for the first time tonight! Pinavani probably wondering what he's going to do to get that ball. Back from injury, back of the team, Pinavani hasn't touched it yet. But that was almost to his side, wasn't it? It was flung out there, big bust by Dargo, brilliant work. And the quick hands from Skinner pops it outside. And Heron on hand, gets the dot down. Nice play as well. Well, that was exciting for us. I like it, I like what we're doing. Heron to Kubota's own try, and he dots it over. Good start, Montpellier. We want consistency, we want better performances. More importantly, we've got to beat our big rivals here in the middle of the table. We're in fifth, remember. They are in sixth. One place, but there's an awful lot. 12 points between us. A win here tonight will go a long way towards us securing. Oh, Skinner! Oh, no! He looks down, and it's another yellow card! What is going on here for Racing? They are a loose cannon. Who's off this time? It is the fullback. It's been put out. He's gone. And another easy exit. This time here, and let's kick it to touch, shall we? Good job. Right on halfway. Back to the point making earlier. This is a big game. A 12-point lead. Lose this. And it goes down to single digits. If we can, of course, win it. It goes up to 16, possibly 17 points. That makes a massive difference. Here's Merrick trying to break away from the ever present. Curly Beal. Strong in the tackle there from Beal, but it holds on nicely. A little bit of roomy on the short side. Back part to Isles. Now we've got Isles away again. Tries to step back inside. You know what I'm thinking here, lads? Padavani. Way out on their right hand side. Skinner. Back to Garano. Knocks it on. Oh, I was trying to set that up. I thought inside ball to a rampaging forward. Get us some quick ruck ball where all the forwards are already standing. And then deliver a crossfield kick. I was about two phases ahead of my play. It was nice there from Skinner. I think there was Crouch. first receiver. That was good Find. to see. Something a little bit different. Half Set. an hour rings on. It is rusting. Still a man down. And voila voila, packing down. Is it better on the far side of the scrum in 10? It is, because look, Maria's still on the field. That's a good half break there from Fiku. Finding a bit of room on the left hand side. Back towards the forward to Jones. Support players there, but pressing is Bill once more. Laurent, the man to take it down. Now there's room out on the right. They can find a pass. They could be in for some money. It's over the balls. Flank part thought he had it there. Good play out wide. Now it's currently Bill again. Running away from Miles. Oh, what a pass! What an outstanding piece of work from Curly Bell. And Wadamoff scores. Rossing a back. And they are certainly off to the Rossing now. What a play from Curly Bell. Exquisite. Phenomenal, spectacular. All the superlatives. Two men. Oh, brilliant. 
and somehow still offloads to one him off. And if that perfectly streak line here or lack of getting a slipstream down the sidelines, what a try. Man in the bit, I'm not sure who's in the bit. I can only presume it's Polisi, the number seven, the upper side flanker. As that's where Bola Bola was packing down in that scrum. And here we go, back on the field. It does look like a forward. Certainly is. No, it's the other side. Laurent who is back on the field. The blind side flanker. Either way, Bola Bola was in the thick of that action. 7-7. Seven, seven. We've had all sorts of goodness going on in this game. Some spectacular rugby. Some stalemate rugby. But it all ends up here. Tied up again at seven points apiece. Yes, a little bit of fancy Not rugby really and a penalty to Montpellier. Shifting on the outside, back to Will Tucker. And over the ball in a flash, Montpellier get the penalty. And just remember why we're here. We are here to win. And that's all I care about. Half time is right within reach. There it is. Right as Heron puts it over. Good kick from the man who's got all our points tonight so far. 10 points to Heron, 7 points to Rousing 92. And we've got a game on our hand, team. This has been exciting. Missing 9 players through injury and international duty. Rousing 92 certainly lay all the eggs in the currently Beal basket. I'm pretty sure last time we played these guys, he was injured or away on international duty. One of those 7. But what a difference he makes to the side. Galfiku hardly seen him really bola bola. He's only touched the ball when he's been thrown it in his face and didn't really want it. One man, currently Beal, has directed this game for the visitors. For us, on the other hand, we should have done a bit more. We've had a little bit less of the ball, but enough to make something happen. They've had two yellow cards. That should have made things tell for us. But just that penalty goal is all that puts between us at the halftime break. 10 points to 7. Montpellier over Racing. Much work to be done still. A big opportunity, a big chance for Montpellier to solidify that top 6 or top 5 spot even. As we race towards the playoffs to the left wing. Oh, it was brilliant! Got away to Heron! This is outstanding rugby from Montpellier looking for Wedrago. Finds currently Beal. That was almost magic off the kickoff. So good to see. Oh, dominant tackle over the top there. Garado. Big work. Come on, it's got to work. Because through goes Fiku. Fiku's rapid. He gets away easy from Willemser. But it's Padovani who gets over him. Phillipsa was on that ball for three hours, Rev. Give us a break here. A little pick in the go. Hirobrani gets it long down to Isles. And Isles spots a whole pile of space. Again, breaks the line off. Oh. And again in touch. He's got to know where his feet are. Carlin Isles is probably having his best game with little to no reward so far. <laughs> Taken nice seat from Tucker there. Geelong covers across. Bale again. Pops it inside for Fiku. Take it down. The second wave comes in and Blair rumbles. Three Release. defenders throw on the side like dirty socks. Tucker again round the corner. We're across here on the left wing but we make it pay. Laborde goes down in a heap. And they set it up. Oh, inside ball. Brilliant to Blair. And he will get it very close to the line. So much space for the short side. They keep it the other way. And Carly Beale scores. Unsurprising that he dots down tonight. And this has been an action packed game so far. Rusting 92 grab the go ahead try. Perfect delivery ball to Blair. Just managed to stop him. Come out a great tackle. But then up and over it goes. Jones slips it back. Average from Merrick. And I think this may be the time we look to make some changes. But here to have the shot at goal. And I think we will stop him before he gets there. And look towards the bench ourselves. Let's do that right now. And Gadebi can come on. Who's he going to? Is he going to come on? No, he's not going to come on. Sorry, uh, Gabriel. You're not coming on. Damon. Omar Shea's the one I want to get on. Merrick. Ah, it's just been average. 
Geelong, geez, do we, we bring Sam Coney on for a bit of impact off the bench? He's not been at his best either. And I'm just not too convinced about what these props are doing either. That tight head, Bukinia can come on. And we'll bring uh, Setiano as well on in that front row. Darlon can stay off. Capelli, yes, we'll leave it at that. Get a little bit more power into that pack. I uh, haven't seen enough from Jones or from House tonight. In a game we are trailing by, now we need to make the changes. 14 points to 10. We could take that lead back with another try. But this is this is quite the matchup so far. A whole host of changes. We're not taking Mir uh, Kieran off because he's the one that's changed, made all the points in our game so far tonight. Try conversion and a penalty goal, of course. I think Isles is having a decent game. Just needs to check his feet. He can make something happen. Up he goes again. And oh, brilliant offload to Heron. Now, link up. Find someone. He does find with Drago, but too slow to the breakdown. We're just too good for our own selves here. Ball lost again. And Arasin come away with it. There's no one out here to help out. Almost intercepted there. Trudging across. Another chance for turnover. Got it. Come out of this time. Grado, here and big ball out to Skinner. Where's Petavani? Oh no, not another one. Not another one. And you know, no more. No more threes. Volleyball is having a shocker out here, by the way. Nope, nope, no. 20 minutes to go. We want the lead. Kieran, come on, sort yourself out, son. We want the lead. Nothing short of the lead. Let's do this. Grado to throw. Nailed it. Got it in the middle. That's when we wanted the ball. Right on the head of flag butts. Oh, what? Did we not get a warning or anything? Where's the... Crouch. Use it, nine. Fine. Use it. No. Nothing. Set. Oh, this is insane. We're getting shafted. This is making it even more exciting now. Our golden chance is gone. Use them all, they say. Get him. Nope, we've missed him completely. Isles, take him down. But out of sync there, Isles, if you hit, that's all right. But here was up for fullback. We've got players for days there. Kamara, out the back of the hand. Skinner, oh no! Oh, you are joking me right now. It's a yellow card. Is it Bill? Or is it, oh, it's red! <laughs> it's a red card! Red card for either Bill. Oh, that's a great kick. All the rocks. I think it may be the blindside flanker because he's already had a yellow. So Bill may still be here. Which is a bit of a shame because he is killing us. Garado to the back. I must say, Vincent Padovani, welcome back! He delivers time and time again! The man by the brilliant Silvano Padovani! Montpellier take the lead back! Perfect kick this time from Heron. Garado and his pack said last time we got smoked by the referee. And this was just a simple passing game. Manier, the last man, far too narrow. Petavani, the finisher, gets it done in the corner. Well, not even the corner, let's be honest. He was the last man, but he was only just to the side of the sticks. Makes it for a... Really, he's in line with the right hand upright. That's insane. He was the last man on attack, and he beat the last man on defense. Red card for Russell 92. 10 minutes to play, a three-point lead for Montpellier. Can we deny them further? Can we say no more to bonus points for losing? So, Bill must be off. Because Maria's kicking off. Did Maria kick off other times? I don't even know anymore. Into contact, he goes! Oh, no, not with Drago. Oh, it's been such a good game so far. We haven't lost too many players, and I think I've made my back row change. I have. Can we bring Geelong back on, please? No? Capelli. Okay. We can make some changes to those changes, which we will, I think, do. Uh, we did the experiment of Willemser in that back row, and I think we may have to go back to that again. It wasn't ideal. It was okay. Um, but we will 
do that because I don't really uh, want Capelli there. So we'll put Willemse back in and we'll go with the two out and out locks Ouch. in the second Fine. row. We do have a scrum, however, the injury to Wade that I go, not the Six. greatest. Shame it wasn't Merrick earlier in the game, but we'll go on with it. Sekoni in the back. You know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit exciting here. <laughs> Let's do something. There's no one out here for Pedavani's wing. If he catches this, he's gone. He does. He runs away. Gerardo Pedavani going into the corner. But here comes the cross. But Pedavani's got two. He's back in the team. He's back in the highlight reel. He is back in the spotlight. In his unfavoured wing, he wanted, preferred to be a fullback. But we've played him at 10. We've played him in midfield. Let's kick across from here and so good that Cameron's couldn't keep up. Pedavani hits it at pace, perfectly placed. No one out there to compete with him. No Beal, no problem for Montpellier. We put on the pain after the card. Well, we've been saved by not only international duty, but a flurry of cards going the way of Racing 92. They're out for blood tonight. And they may have taken it. They injured Wade Drago. And there may still be time for more pain for us, but as far as the scoreboard goes, it is Montpellier in control and in the league. 24 points to 14, and we are in the final clutches of this matchup. What a game it has been. I'm not sure who was red carded still after all this time. We're going to have to have a look afterwards. But I haven't seen Beal for quite some time. They've not had the ball either. Corrado, outstanding run from the hooker. We are really starting to clean up now. Sitiano, that is a suicidal run. And it's got a chance now out wide. Breaking down the line. Corby, he goes into touch. And that'll spell the end of this matchup. Full time goes as the tight end prop went rumbling down the wing. Montpellier were pushed, Montpellier were prodded, but Montpellier fight back and come home strong in the final stanza of this matchup. Yellow cards, red cards, and a twinkle toes, Carla Niles, that could have made things so much different to what they actually were. But three tries to two were enough for Montpellier to get over the line. It all opened up with Heron three points off the tee as well as three conversions and the try to the fly half Eduardo Pedavani come home strong though two late tries getting him back into the action for Montpellier back from injury so good to see the man Van Italian in full flight down either side of the field I don't care where he plays as long as he's in the lineup Pedavani's the man for the visitors currently Beal and Wynum off they were quite brilliant especially Beal and then Miller was the man off the tee. He got two conversions off those tries as well. We flipped it from the break. They were ahead, rusting by just a whisker at half time. We turned that on his head, getting a couple of good tries late on and made a big difference with those extra players. Don't see the cards on there, but there was two yellows and a red from memory. Nine line breaks to four. You can look at this and say, maybe we should have done even more damage than we did. Well, we weren't wrong, were we? We knew it was one of either Laurent or Beal that went off, and it was indeed currently Beal, who was sent from the field a straight red too. There was no second yellow for Beal this time. I'm pretty sure he wasn't, did go off at all earlier in the matchup. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm sure you guys will let me know. But yeah, that game, on his head, when Beal went off, it was 14-10. Beal got red carded. We took over and took over big time, two unanswered tries, took the lead, took it home. Great performance by Montpellier, but the red card certainly did help. Look at the team now that the internationals are back. Russell's on the bench, Marchno, uh, LaRue, Akui, man. Look at that, they've got even reserve players who so they're not even contracted in, in this team as well. Vakatawa's in there, Teddy Thomas is back, man. This team was really short-changed. Lawrence injured. Wow, outstanding stuff. But who cares about them because we've disposed of those mugs. And now we sit comfortably in fifth position. Wow, that is huge. 17-point lead between fifth and sixth. There is a fight going on down here. Racing, Toulon, La Rochelle, maybe even not even there. Eight points further adrift. Toulouse, Bayonet in the 30s as well. But it's this top half 
That is interesting. We're just keeping up. Another loss will see us fall out of this race, but Bordeaux on 66, four points ahead of us. Six points up, Clermont, seven, Castor, and then way up, Leon, 76. They are 14 points ahead of us, though. Castor's really come on strong, though. 208 points plus on the differential, 206 for Clermont as well. We are just 83. Like I said last episode, we can't destroy these teams like Powell, Breathe, Thard, Agent. We just don't smash them like we should. And that is coming against us here as we have the worst points differential inside the top five. We do have an injury as well, which we'll just quickly check up on. We're Diago, four weeks. It's not bad, actually. I can live with that. Uh, we may get some players back. 22 days to see him there. Anyone back? Internationals? Yeah, Golaniski's back. Rahak's back. Reece Emmett's back. Gilda Sally's back. Yes. So, injury-wise, Ratiz is the first. We'll clean these up, uh, but we'll fix up the team for next episode. A bit more choice for our selections. But that is us for today's episode. Big thanks, everyone, for tuning in and watching, as per always. A fun game against Racing 92. A bit of excitement, a bit of hatred, I guess, and a bit of pain um, with all those cards, high tackles, and injuries. It all happened here on today's episode. I'll see you all next time for plenty more, as always. And like I say at the end of every episode, now, big thanks to all the supporters of the channel. You can see them on your screen. If you want to join them, you know what to do. Head up that description and have your part in supporting the channel. Thank you all very so much, as always. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.